Hey y'all and happy Vlogmas. This is the last workout for 2020 and it is a real rockin' killer. Get super pumped. Hey y'all, if we haven't met before, my name is Nicole. I'm a registered dietitian as well as a fitness instructor for the past seven years. Get super stoked. This is the last Workout for 2020, Cardio Pilates, 20 minutes with no equipment. There will be some jumping, but of course, as always, jumping is optional. We got some tricks up our sleeves if you're like, Nicole, I ain't a jumper. That's cool. But if you have 20 minutes, room for a yoga mat, some water, you can do this workout. The goal for this workout is for you to feel the burn, to feel the feel good emotions, the feel good endorphins, so that you feel accomplished, powerful, stronger mentally and physically, so that you end the year 2020 on a strong note, ready to take on whatever the year 2021 has in store for us. So here's the game plan for today's workout. It is 20 minutes cardio Pilates. We have seven songs, one is a warm up. We got some core legs and we end with a little bit more core and back workout. You are trying to complete the entire song with me as I do it with you. Take your breaks when you need them. My beginners, you might need a couple more breaks. Totally fine, have some water next to you. And when you can, come back to me. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Press that alert button so you don't miss another workout from me and the like button if you like today's workout. Now let's get freaking ready, get your hair up, grab some water, get ready to move your body. Let's do it, last workout 2020. Woo All right, it is warm up time. Get those arms nice and long, circle them way. all the way behind you. Waking up your chest and side. shoulders, reverse that circle, you have eight counts. Tired of talking. In four, side to side right steps. Now. Three, two, one, side to side. Now keep your elbows bent so that every time you pull your elbows back, you are opening your chest. You have eight. Knee, hip circles on the left of knee. In four, three, two, one, pick up your left knee and circle it as wide and big as you can. You have four more. Alternate to the right side. In three, one, right side, knee, hip circles. Core is tight, balancing on one leg as you open your hips. Big inhale up, plie down. Three, two, one, up, plie squats. Knees track over your big toe second toe, but staying behind your toe. Lateral lunges in three, two, one, when you're beating forward. And then lunge right, lift, left, lift. See how far back your hips can go as you push through your heels, engaging your core at a reach to the opposite knees right here. In eight seconds, jumping jacks. Get ready to warm it up. In three, two, one, jumping jacks. Really reach those arms, landing softly. It's eight seconds. Cross jacks with your arms in front of you and you crisscrossing your feet. Three, two, one, cross jacks. Ten seconds. It's two of each. In four, three, two, one, two regular jump jacks. Two cross jacks. You might need to do a little jump in between. this party started coming down to the ground in your best high plank toes on your mat palms underneath your shoulders get ready for some push-ups so slowly lower your chest push into the bottom of your palms to lift yourself up you can go as fast or as slow as you want the goal is to get as low as possible you can always go down to your knees if you don't know these are my weakness so i just like you am working on getting stronger so let's get stronger together how can we go? You have eight seconds left. Come back to your high plank. 
for your shoulder taps in four, three, two, one, and just shoulder taps, right hand, left shoulder, vice versa. Core is tight. This can be done on your knees, needs be. In eight seconds, you have mountain climbers. Are you ready? 30 seconds, mountain climbers. Timer starts now. Let's get it. Trying to pull your knees into your chest, landing softly with your toes. Try not to clunk down. You are fighting for this. You're halfway through it. Just eight, round two, coming in hot. In four, three, two, one. Take a quick break. Do what you need to. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Same exact thing, one more time. So once you're ready, let's go back to those push-ups. Hands underneath your shoulders, toes against the mat, and slowly drop yourself down. Quick body inventory. Make sure your elbows are going down at an angle. Your elbows should never be horizontal from your shoulders. They should always be angled down and back. You have 20 seconds left at push-ups. How many can you do? Really worry about your form. Concentrate on your form. Core tight. Chest is getting low. Eight seconds. Shoulder taps. In four, three, two, one. Again, if your shoulders are done so, drop down to your knees. But you can do this. You want to change. You want to challenge your body. Last round of mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one. Again, 30 seconds. You did this last time. You can do it this time. Fire in that belly. You got this. Woo. Halfway there. Don't stop. You get to lay on your back for the next song. So don't stop now. You just have eight seconds left. It's four, it's three, it's two, it's one. Woo. Now let's lay on your back with your hands behind your head, getting ready for oblique crunches on the right side. Left elbow comes in contact with your right knee, and then oblique reach, left hand reaches over as your right leg is straight. Alternate those. It's oblique crunch, bend your elbow to knee, oblique reach, your arm reaches the side of your glute. And you just continue this move for the next 40 seconds. The trick is keeping your right shoulder off of the ground. How high can your chest be the entire time? Focusing on twisting at your rib cage. Make sure you are breathing. You are not using your neck, you are using your core. In eight seconds, bicycles. You ready? It's four, three, two, one, bicycles. Make sure you're twisting at your rib cage. It's not just about your elbows flailing everywhere. Your elbows stay nice and open, chest is proud, shoulder blades off the ground as your knees pull in and out. You're halfway there. Make sure your core is engaged this entire time. In four, other side. In four, three, two, one. Opalie crunch on the left. So right elbow, left knee. Then your right arm reaches on the side of your left body as your left leg lifts. I'm just switching so you can see me do it on this side. Elbow to knee. Arm side of the body as your left leg lifts. Again, same thing you did last time. So take a quick check. Your shoulders are completely off of the ground as you twist and lift. You hear it coming. You have one more round of bicycles. In eight seconds. Bicycle last time, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go for it. The more you reach your legs and lower your legs to the ground, the harder this will be. Focus on the intention rather than how quick you are going. Squeezing your core and obliques. Making sure your chin is to your chest to not use your neck. 
You're over halfway done and you got this. In 10 seconds, you get to stand up. It's four, it's three, two, one, shake it out, stand up. Standing up to your best sumo squat, your feet are a little wider than hip width, toes turned out, chest stays proud as you drop your tailbone behind you, engaging your glutes as you push your heels up, core tight. I can't tell what's wrong or right. Should I go? In 10 seconds, it's two pulses at the bottom and one squat. In four, three, two, one, pulse for two, one, full squat. It's pulse for two, one, full squat. You double that to four pulses and two squats. In four, three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, and then two squats. As you pulse down, push your heels to squeeze your glutes. In 10 seconds, you have squat jumps. Get pumped. The first round is only 15 seconds. It's four, three, two, one. One, squat jumps, pushing how high can you go, landing softly, pushing through those heels, trying to get some serious air. If you're like, Nicole, I can't jump, just go to a squat, releve, picking up your heels. You have eight seconds left, though. You can do this. It's three, two, one. Round two, last round. Same exact thing you just did. Start with sumo squats only. Okay, let's go back, core is tight, breathe it out. Add that pulse at the bottom right here. It's squat with two pulses every time your knees are at 90. Pushing through your heels to activate your glutes. Down, pulse for two. Lift up and down. It's four, three, two, one. Add four pulses at the bottom. And two freaking squats. Here's the deal. You have one more round of squat jumps. This round is 30 seconds, but then you're done with this song. In eight seconds, it is time to squat jumps. 30 seconds, you know your options. It's four, three, two, one. Let's be powerful right now. End of 2020, you got this. Pushing through those heels. Anytime you need to shake out, anytime you need a quick breather, go for it. But how far, how high can you go? Always option to go to squat releve. Halfway done. Eight more seconds. It's four, three, two, one. Shake it. All right, take a quick little breather, a break. It is time for your lunge sequence. This sequence has two different sets. We start with the right side. So right leg forward, left leg behind you. Core is tight. Slowly drop your tailbone down as you bend your right knee, pushing through your right heel as you stand back up. This is all about the nice, slow, intentional speed, engaging your glutes, your hammies as you go down and up. Heel extensions in four, three, two, one. Hold your right knee at 90. As you flex or extend your heel behind you. So right knee holds 90, left knee bends, left heel extends back. It's a combo lunge with a heel extension. It's lunge, as you go down, extend your heel. Lunge, extend your heel. 10 seconds, static. Lunge, jumps. In four, three, two, one, you have lunge, jumps. Now these are brutal, I am not gonna lie to you. You are gonna see me die in these a couple of times. Have fun with it, get stronger, shake it out when you need to. You have 25 seconds left of these, don't stop now. Pushing through your heel, trying to pick your body off the ground as much as you can. Eight more seconds. Other leg in four, three, two, one. Big inhale, big exhale. Shake it out. This one needs a quick little leg shake. Once you're ready, left leg in front, right leg is back. Slowly lower and lift yourself up. 
Look at your knee. Make sure your knee stays behind your toes. In eight seconds, heel extension with your left knee at 90. In four, three, two, one, left knee 90. Right knee bends and then flex your right heel, feeling the extension in the back of your leg. Combo in four, three, two, one, one lunge. Every time you go down, one heel extension. You only have two legs, so you only have two sets. Your last 30 second set of lunge jumps. Four, three, two, one, push. Now this is not gonna be easy, but you are gonna feel so accomplished, so proud of yourself to get through this. I promise we get the ground after this song. Don't stop, fight for this workout, halfway done. In 10 freaking seconds, you get to shake it out. It's four, three, two, one, breathe. Holy freaking cow what she said all right get ready for this last cardio song we start in a high plank you can also be on your knees the move is arm lifts so basically one arm planks for a couple seconds a pop your goal right now is to stay stable with your hips minimizing hip movement and your core is nice and tight this can always be done on your knees knee and speed with every line they keep on you Alternating leg lifts. Three, two, one. In 10 seconds, you have a half burpee to right arm, left leg lift, and left arm, right leg lift. Three, two, one. Jump with your feet to your hands. Go back to your plank. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And repeat that for the next 25 seconds. Trying to stay slow to the ground when you're in your half burpee, like a half squat. In three, in two, one, shake it out. Let's do that one more time. Picking up those arms. This is your last cardio portion. I will say that your cardio portion is a minute. But You're then you are this. done. Leg no. lifts. Three, two, one. We're gonna find them. All right, one minute of a half burpee to the alternating arm hiding. leg lifts. Three, We're two, one. Your burpees are powerful. Your arm leg lifts are controlled. How powerful can you be? This is your workout. It's going to be tough. But you can do this. At any time you need to take a quick breather, go for it, but you're halfway done. We're gonna find them. La 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 la. They better start hiding. When you jump your feet in, make sure you're jumping through your heels, keeping your hips nice and high but also in line with your shoulders, not too high. 10 freaking seconds, do not stop now. Take that breather in three, two, one, shake it out. All right, 15 second break real quick before we go to Superman's grab a sip of water, take a big inhale, big exhale. And now that we're ready, laying on your stomach with your forehead on the back of your palms, bend both of your knees to 90 degrees, heels will be together, flex your feet using your lower back, squeeze your booty, lift your thighs off the ground, and drop them down. This is a very slow movement as you're flexing your feet, squeezing your lower back muscles as well as your glutes. You're not using your chest. How high can you lift your thighs from the ground? Pulse it at the top in four, three, two, one. 
Now, keeping your thighs off the ground, these are teeny tiny poses, you staying outside your comfort zone. In 10 seconds, your elbows bend at 90. You lift your chest and your legs together. Four, three, two, one, lift and lower. This is just 15 seconds of both your chest and legs. You can do that. Hold it at the top and drop it down. Now just your chest. So your legs take a break, lift and lower your chest with your elbows at 90 degrees. Notice how slow I am going. Go as slow as you can, trying to get how high you can get off of the ground. In 10 seconds, you pulse your chest off the ground. Four, three, two, one. Can you get that belly button off the ground? Using your back, squeeze, contract. In eight seconds, your chest lowers, you reach your arms forward, your chest lifts, your elbows go back. It's four, three, two, one, reach, pull. This is a perfect time to exhale on the pull up. Your legs can be added right now. It's easier if your legs stay straight. If you want to amp it up more, flex your feet, heels together, bend your knees. This is how you finish your workout. You have 30 seconds of this. You got this. Three. 15 seconds left of this workout. Fight for it. Pull those elbows back. Lift your thighs off the ground. Breathe. Get stronger. It is easy. It's four, three, two, hold it up, one, and shake it out. Up freaking top, y'all just nailed that 20 minute cardio Pilates class. I hope you're shaking as much as I am. My body is legitimately on fire but I am so excited to eat some food. I hope y'all enjoyed that last workout of the year 2020. I can't wait to come back with more workouts into the year 2021 and hopefully some challenges in the year 2021. If there's something you want me to do or incorporate into these videos, you let me know in the comment section below or just send me a DM on my Instagram. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like today's video if you like today's video. Share this video with your friends, your family, your coworkers. Tag me on your stories. Can't wait to keep making your nutrition and fitness dreams come true and make this channel even better next year. Now until next time, eat your fruits and vegetables, drink your water, get your sleep, be kind to those around you, and I'll see y'all next time.